Some leaked images of the new maps coming for Season 3 of Halo Infinite have just made it to the internet, as well as another map beyond that. How legit are they? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to let me know by tapping that like button as it is the best way to help out the video within that all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe to keep up to date with everything going on with Halo and gaming. I mean, if we could reach 300 likes, I mean, that would be pretty cool. I'm sure many of you remember seeing these images right here of the new maps coming in for season three of Halo Infinite that were talked about in the previous dev blog, that video that was posted that kind of started a whole firestorm on the internet when it came to just the general reception of Halo Infinite. This is one of the new BTB maps coming in for Season 3 that's going to have a bit more variety, a bit more openness to the map to allow more vehicle play. They put a big emphasis on vehicle play when describing this map, as well as the arena map coming in for Season 3, which definitely does look awesome, creates a little bit more variety when it comes to the visual art style of the map, but we have some new content to look over to for these maps. Well, here's a new look of the BTB map coming in for Season 3. This map is going to be called Oasis, which originally the codename of this map was Exile, but obviously they want to call it that. We all kind of thought this might have been a remake as it was leaked out previously that we covered on the channel here. But here's a new look at this map. This looks to be a bit more of a paint over kind of thing if we've talked about this previously, guys. But you can see what the map looks like. They have the general layout of the map. Looks like it's been created. But for the most part, you're kind of really only seeing basically a paint over, which is what we saw previously with Catalyst, which just was the image that was showcased previously. You can kind of tell that they had the same geometry, then took a screenshot and they kind of like went into Photoshop essentially and kind of created a little bit more uh, details onto the map to make it look more representative of what we're actually going to be playing on. You can see how it land exactly looking like this in the actual game, but pretty dang close. But this Forerunner structure looks absolutely amazing. This looks so freaking cool. And we get a cool glimpse of the base right here. This looks to be kind of more just like a general platform kind of thing for a base rather than like a internal thing. Or it could be, as it does seem like there'd be a little bit of a door right there to kind of access through. Um, and But that's about it for most of this. We're not really getting much in the way of how this map will look or play out as when it comes to play styles. We have like a little bit of an overhang right here. Interesting thing is this little structure back here. I'm not quite sure what this is. I don't really remember seeing this within the campaign, though it is a very interesting structure nonetheless. And it could be maybe a new game mode coming in with season three or something like that, or some kind of new asset for us to play around with within the game. Or it could just be something that looks really cool that could tie into like the old style of the Forerunner structure and a little bit of the newer style and kind of mixing together kind of stuff with the floaty aspects of it. But overall, this map looks really freaking cool. And with it being a bit more open map, so you can have more vehicle variety when the gameplay, which these new BTB maps sorely need, I would be very excited to see how this map actually plays out. We'll definitely will cover it plenty on the channel, but we have another map to look over to as well. This is the map Cliffhanger, which we saw earlier, which is the arena map coming in for season three. As you can see, it definitely does match the aesthetic that we saw earlier from 343, but now we actually have the name of it. Kind of gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect from this map. Though taking a close look at some of the aspects of this map, I've not really seen, again, like a whole lot that really kind of reveals much about this map of how it's really going to play out. Again, this also does seem to be a bit of a paint over when it comes to the map rather than like the actual geometry that we or art style that we will see. Well, obviously the general art style is here. This is basically what the map is going to look like. It might not be exactly what it looks like, if you know what I mean. This should be a pretty big map though, if it's a 4v4 arena map, because we do have a man cannon right here, which most likely should launch it probably to the center platform location right here. Uh, not quite sure if there'll be any kind of like, you know, parts where you can fall to your death or anything like that, but definitely a nice little change of pace when it comes to the aesthetic. We also have like a building over here. Could be a point of interest as well. This could be actually, looks to me, maybe a weapon rack right here that hasn't been populated yet, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. But of course, it's our first new look at the upcoming map, and plus we have the name Cliffhanger to check a look at. And lastly is a map called Chasm. Now, this map has not been confirmed to be released with Season 3, but we can see a series of of platforms in the middle with definitely different areas you can jump through this will be very interesting to see how it plays out as an actual map very open right here you can see on the outside edge you can see that there most likely will be kind of like hallways going up to the second platform up here but the center area is gonna be pretty wide open i could be kind of sketchy to see how this will actually play out as if we do know catalyst kind of has that open center area which not a whole lot of people are fans of but this definitely looks amazing Basically ripped right from the campaign and made into an actual map. These different platforms should definitely 
give you some unique different types of engagements to jump in and play around with that we haven't really had an experience with in Halo or Halo Infinite in particular. Our favorite leaky boy, Sir Azar, is the one who kind of sourced all this for us guys and did state that the final map chasm right here, he's not quite sure uh, when it will release, but it does seem like the 343 is starting to repurpose campaign areas for multiplayer. So we could see them reusing different types of assets to create these types of maps. And it does, definitely does look interesting. It just concerns me a little bit as the most likely this would be symmetrical with like another second floor platform over here on the left side with a lower platform. And then you'd be able to shoot across it, maybe kind of like a smaller arena map. This could be maybe just like a fun chaotic kind of thing, but I'm not quite sure exactly how it'll play out. Again, once we get more details, as we do inch closer and closer to season three, which should be coming around here in March, guys, you know I'll definitely cover more of it on the channel here. Now we're using assets from the campaign is certainly anything that's not familiar to the Halo franchise. Essentially all the launch Halo Reach maps were just repurposed areas from the campaign kind of section, sectioned off to make them into multiplayer maps, which I didn't really like how that played out. So it does seem like 343 is kind of reusing assets from the campaign to create maps that are designed for multiplayer. Which if that's the case, I'm all for it. It helps reduce the amount of assets needing to be created. And so they can focus on just making maps rather than having to make all the assets for it. Because as we know right now, the biggest issue with Halo Infinite is the content. We do have the remake of The Pit coming in in December for us guys to jump in and play with. And it also does sound like 343 did state that they want to bring more classic maps through Forge into Halo Infinite as well. So we're going to be getting some more content coming in, most likely before the release of Season 3, but the dev maps are going to be for Season 3 for sure. But let me know what you think of the maps Oasis, Cliffhanger, and Chasm. As we get more information about these maps, you know I'll share with you guys here on the channel. If you guys want to know some information about the December drop pod that we know is coming from 343, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.